This is my room. Um, with the room, like I said, you get two desks, you get two desk chairs, you get two dressers, two shelving units. Um, you can pretty much decorate however you want. Um, since it is a private room, I did decide to bunk my beds or put them together. Um, some people bunk them, some people will leave them on each other's side of the room. There's a lot of different ways that you can decorate your room. Decorated the walls. Maybe make it feel like home. Now, do you, did you have different closets? We have the built-in closets. Yeah. Mine has like the smaller room. Gotcha. Um, we kind of uh, we cleared the spot out from under his bed. Made a couch. For anybody that wanted to come over and watch. TV, watch movies. It's also a good napping spot. Got two TVs, so if I wanted to watch a movie, you want to watch a movie. It's pretty nice. Our printer set up here. Um, that's really it. Part. We decided to do bum best because between the two of us, we had too much stuff. <laughs> so we decided to make our own bum beds. Way too much stuff. <laughs> and I just find it, we just find it way easier to do mm -hmm. bum beds instead of having them separated. It's so much space. A so lot more space. space. And it comes with two closets. One for you, one for your roommate. They're not big, so I wouldn't advise bringing a lot of things. <laughs> but they're good. You have a lot of storage to make up for it, though. So, it's really good. Your room's come with, like, your own desk and stuff. You gotta bring microwave, refrigerator, and other essential stuff you collect you should need. So, right here is the room. Um, as you can see, real decorated, nicely decorated. Um, I actually have a bunk bed. I have a private room because I have my RA here. So I have the opportunity to move bunk beds. So if you want bunk beds, you must definitely can do that. Or the room can be split into two separate beds. Um, in each room, you have two trash cans and one recycling bin. You also have two desks and two dressers and two shelves. So you have plenty of space to do whatever you want to do and put in. Um, also, you are, if you do end up getting a roommate, um, you and your roommate obviously will have to share, but you get two of everything. So you have your own closet, your own desk, your own kind of personal area, personal space. So it's pretty cool. just so we would have more space to have um, like some of our friends come and hang out and we do movie nights a lot of the time with just friends in um, PFT but also friends in like other dorms. Alright. 
this is our this is our room. Uh, we decided to bunk the beds just because it opens up a lot more space. And then we kind of pushed everything like to the sides. Um, I don't know, it just opened up the middle a lot. And we always have people up here and are hanging out. So. We spend most of our time up here to study. Uh, Paul's pretty quiet during the week, so we get most of our study. And you can bring chairs. Like we brought, I brought this from home. And you can just, yeah. Uh, yeah. if you bunk your bed, you have a lot more space. And then uh, we, we just happen to have this great view uh, of campus from you, so. Yeah, uh, tips would be helpful is to have a whiteboard, usually keeps you up with your stuff. A refrigerator is a given, microwaves, a necessity in college, so make sure you have a good one. So. Yeah, every room comes with a desk, and then you get a dresser, and then you get like a uh, little storage shelf. To our humble abode. Now, when we first got here, you had the two beds on the walls and the desks and then the closet, but we decided to change that up a little bit because we like the idea of having our desks and everything together and our beds on one side of the room. Plus, we get this TV set up where we can just have friends over and watch movies and hang out. Um, yeah, but otherwise, do you have anything to say? Normal. The one cool thing about the beds being like this, in this way, is that it kind of turns them into couches when we need them to be. So you have a wall that you can help yourself up against, and then you just face the TV and you kind of adjust to what you need. And it's very well done. And also the way we do this, it also allows us to have all of our electric stuff on that side, and we just keep charges and whatnot, along with our fridge and uh, microwave, which is a pretty interesting setup we got, because it happened to just fit. There's only I think it's like a half inch of yeah, space inch. left in between. So we were able to fit it just in there. It fits real snug and it looks like we met, meant to do it on purpose. Uh, another cool thing is our, I guess our moors with all of our clothes and stuff in it. We have it set up just like this because uh, it gives us enough rooms and it faces out in such a way that we don't have to like squeeze in behind it or anything like that. But it also kind of puts it in one spot so the rest of our room gets to be our room. closer to my grandma and both my parents are in the military so I just decided to go somewhere where I would be closer to family. So as you can see I have palm trees and then I have like the pineapple pillow and then I have pictures of my family and uh, this is just showing like me and Bill. I like makeup. Uh, this is where I do most of my work. Alright and then this is my side of the room. I am um, kind of a neat freak, so I color code my closet. But also in my closet, we have our TV. So we don't have to see it in our mutual space. It can be hidden. Mm -hmm. 